This is the famous Pennsylvania Avenue, and uh, it's closed down now due to security purposes. People can drive through if they need to. But here we're just taking a look around just to see what it was like. Many years ago, it was very easy just to drive by the White House, see what everything looked like. And here is the rest of Pennsylvania Avenue. We'll take a little tour down Pennsylvania Avenue just to see what it's like. You can see here the sign that says 1700 Pennsylvania Avenue. The White House is 1500 Pennsylvania Avenue. So this is a very interesting and convenient location for many people to be, for offices, for lobbyists, for a lot of prestigious um, people to be near here because you have easy access to the White House. So here we're just gonna take a little tour down Pennsylvania Avenue just to see what it's like. This is, even though the thoroughfare is closed to going past the White House, many years ago, it was very, very easy to go past the White House. And as I, um, as people know, uh, many, many years ago, people were actually going into the White House on a very easy basis. But because in the time that we live, security concerns are a lot higher. Uh, there's a lot more stringent requirements for people to go into the White House. So you can see how beautiful this is. All the buildings that are around here. Now, Washington, D.C. has actually gone through a renaissance compared to the way it was 40 years ago, as many major cities in the U.S. did. Uh, there was initially urban decay, and so people were not too thrilled with being inside the city. Uh, but then, over the last 40 years, uh, it's just an incredible renaissance. And you could take a look around and see all the buildings here. This is an amazing renaissance, an amazing change of cities and of fortunes. And right now, in Washington, homes are very, very expensive. So you'll get a 1,200 square foot house, small compared to some other cities, for like over a million dollars. And people are willing to pay it because there's a lot of people who are working in government agencies, couples, each making $100,000, $200,000, so they could easily afford that million dollar house at a combined salary for a husband and wife of 400,000. And that's sparked a, a huge surge in the prices of real estate in Washington, D.C. And uh, it's amazing to see how dilapidated homes that would have gone for $50,000 30 years ago are now for a million dollars. And that same thing has happened in a lot of major cities in the United States on the East Coast.